Hi, have you heard of Dokio? My name is Nelly Deutsch and today we're going to take a look at this free and amazing LMS or whatever you want to use it for such as content management and so on. So let's take a look at what's here on Dokio. You can juggle multiple activities, compile research material, organize content library, and find documents and files. So let's continue. I just created an account and notice, please select a use case. So you've got to select one of these. And I think I'm going to compile um, this one. Juggle multiple activities, but maybe this one. Yeah, I'm going to go with the blue. Right, so let's connect with your Google content. Can you believe that this is completely free for the pro as well? I'm going to connect my choices, Google Drive and, okay, Gmail. Connect and then wait a second, choose and then scroll down and I'll allow you can do this for all your emails or gmails and then finish and look what i have now there's dropbox slack which i use box which i used to use microsoft onedrive i'm a mac user so i don't really use that but i do use microsoft teams and outlook because they go together and other i wonder what that would be I use Moodle. Would that be uh, included here? I don't think so, but I can request if I'd like something else. Right, so notice um, here is my Google Drive plus another Drive Docs, in other words, from another account, and I have those as well. I'll be doing that later on after this video. And then um, your files are secure, and you can get an explanation why so which one should i connect with well i'll connect with microsoft teams i'll do that and then you need to go into your account so here i go i don't want to use that one i want to use um, another one so i'll be doing that now why not now all right let's do it with my nelly at nellydeutsch.com because that's where I have my Microsoft and then next and password let's see if I remember my password right probably not but let's try it anyways oh it is that's good right 76 where's my phone so go into my phone all these authenticators are annoying they really are. So what number are we looking at? We're looking at this one. All right. Yes, it's me. You know, sometimes I feel like they're checking me to make sure that I don't abuse my own account, which is kind of ridiculous. Okay, they want my face here. Let's try the face again. All right, we're in. All right, so we're in with that account. So let's click on accept. Oh, consent on behalf of the organization. I didn't do that, but I'm the organization. Right, success, great. All right, so what else can we do here? Well, do, we'll do some of these other ones later on. We're gonna continue with finish adding for now. Now, how should Dokio group your files? By course, by project, by student, by teacher, by topic? You know, this would be great for my courses and course at the university where I have students create videos. I could add them all here. That would be very, very useful. All right, so by course, not right now, or maybe yes, or maybe no. By t These are all great. I wish I could choose more than one. So let me go by course. That's what I do. That what courses do you work with? Enter the names of your course. Dokio's AI will automatically recognize related items and sort them. Really? All right. So let's start with the course. Um, Moodle for teachers. I'm just trying this out. Develop your own. Develop a course. Yeah, that was it. Develop a course. That's one. Another one is tools for student 
collab. These courses are coming up in January. Collaboration, um, mindfulness awareness practice, mindfulness awareness practice. What else is coming up? I think there's one called AI for ELT, but I'm not sure that's the full title. And I guess I have one more that I can add here. So um, let me choose video based mobile learning. Right, there's so many more. Okay. Right. Okay, now what? I agree. I'm not sure what I agree to. Okay, to their terms. Just one last step get sidebar. Maybe later, maybe now. All right. So I can add this to Chrome. That's useful. All right, so that's a great idea. I'll add the extension to Chrome. And, and then, um, yes, I'm going to make this viewable for the extension so I can see it. That's a, always a good idea. All right, so uh, those are bookmarks. Okay, so I'll do that later, or do I have to do it now? Um, I guess I have to do it now. But I don't know where they are. I only see the ones that I have here. So I don't know if Dokio is among them. Oh, here they are, extension. I think they changed the icon. Okay, so let's make this one visible. I'll make it puzzle visible too. What else should I make visible that I want these days? Okay, I think that's it for now. All right, so now I can't go back because I'm stuck here. So let me just go back. And here we are. There's the logout. And you can get help at the bottom right-hand corner. And then it's thinking. And let's see what happens now after it thinks with, or it's AI thinks. So here we go. Let's see what we have here. In Tw bar 2022. Okay, so uh, this is me because I don't recognize any of these things. Oh, there I see my face there. All right, and um, I see s things from this one I don't really recognize. Geography. A um, lot of things here that are not really related. So it doesn't only have relevant things, but it also has some irrelevant things because my email has been added. So courses, AI for ELT. I don't see any of maybe this one. Mindfulness awareness practice. All right, tools for collaboration. Okay, so I see things here, but I can also search for them on my Google Drive. So what do I need this for? Categories, chapters, photos, presentations. I'm more interested in the presentation. That's actually all I'm interested in. So I see some of them here. Self-care, I didn't ask for that one. I didn't ask for well-being either. I asked for map. To save pages. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, that's for the, uh, oh, I see, that's um, the extension does that. That's interesting. So this is the extension. And, um, okay. Right, so I don't think I'm interested in any of that right now. But that's good to know. All right, so um, as you can see, it's free for now. If you're interested in something like this, getting all your uh, content in one place, I think this would be a nice idea. All files, you can also have tags, then you can tag things. So it includes your email, and I think that's a problem. I would not include my email. Um, so I would probably get rid of my email. But if you want to have your email in here too, that might be interesting for you. I personally would remove it because I don't think my email is related. 
unless it's work email and then yeah that's fine and then you can go on with everything that you have here so it does kind of organize your things there you can see whether it's from your email or or where it's from really really well organized whatever program they're using they're doing a great job so congratulations to you Dokio for doing this amazing work and completely free I don't know if I will share the photos but there are photos here as well and some of them are from people I also have calls calls okay so this is kind of um, interesting now you can go back here and since this one was by course you can also have things by teacher or by person or by student a student a person enrolled in a class or by teacher sharing information with a student an individual it's kind of interesting by teacher how enter the names of your teachers don't automatically recognize related items and sort them appropriately I think this is really really nice it's a great way to sort things out if that's what you want and you just don't want to look for things so thank you for watching before we go let's go into mindfulness and see what's here this is really nice everything related to mindful I think it just goes by a search it searches for the words because there are a lot of things here that are not really related to what I was looking for in the course so it's not so much course based as it is on Google Doc I would like to be able to connect the courses and not just the names of the courses on Google Docs and I don't see if we go into sources notice uh, these are the sources I would get rid of this connect okay there I've disconnected my Gmail I don't think my Gmail leave yes it's disconnecting okay that's a good idea I might want to disconnect Google Drive but then I don't know what else is available so let me go back into home and see what else I can calls chapters photos I would like to be able to have other things like in sources I would like to have courses content source so this is what we have um, I guess this is more for a business and a school not so much and you need to use your school account your email because otherwise notice all these files and, and teams well teams not really I would like to be able to add a course that would be great or local files that that would work as well but so it might work for you I'm not sure that it's the right thing for me check it out and see if it fits your needs and that's what it's about it's completely free and worth trying out have a great day and yes tell me what you think of Dokio and did I say Happy New Year? Happy New Year. May 2024 be the best ever.